Howdy y'all, Scott Grove here of GroovyMusicLessons.com Dr. Groovy, that's right. And today I get to double up on uh, things that I've traded for for my download lessons. Once again, Rocker Scooby out there. Here's to you, buddy. Ah, I love my tea. Anyway, a uh, lot going on yesterday. And yes, today I actually did wash my hair, but just had a bad hair day, so do rag time. So, yeah, I'm quite vain with the hair that I have left. <laughs> okay, so yesterday five items actually did come in. Just honestly, just working on my band stuff so hard, I just didn't have the time to put in the video. So I'm going to do them all today and take care of everybody today. And then like six more things showed up today or seven. So... Um, here's a long one for all you guys. That's what she said. Um, first of all, <laughs> um, I remember when I was a young kid and I used to have, uh, see if you guys remember this, anybody out there old enough, there used to be a thing where you could take apples and carve faces on them and then you would stick them in this little oven thingy and it would shrink and it would make these little shrunken heads and you'd decorate them with beads in their eyes and all this kind of shit. It was actually a shrunken head making kit, kind of like mixed in with the uh, easy bake oven anyway uh, this kind person from all the way where the heck ecuador yeah i, I actually enjoy, enjoy seeing all the uh stamps and so forth from different countries that come in i mean that that's cool stuff to me you know the postage and you know it's just it's just neat i enjoy it just as much as the foreign money seeing the foreign stamps and the hell it's all just cool anyway so yes this young man asked me, said, hey, I do shrunken heads, and it's, it's actually very cool. Um, let me see what I can tell you here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very short, handwritten letter. Okay, this is from John in Ecuador, of course. Um, let's see. Um, uh, we are... Oh, here, duh. See, I can't even read yet. Oh, you know, like this lovely warm glow I have on me now? Yeah, I borrowed one of the wife's lamps since I'm sitting here in the living room today because the music room's just too full. So, hello, Scott. Here are the heads that I promised. <laughs> so I got some head today. Um, and I hope you like them. I love them, man. It says, I'm looking forward to the downloads and have been playing guitar and singing for many years and enjoy your teaching style. Um... And Daddy tells me the format of the stuff, so I will... That's always good, man. Always include what format, Mac or PC, you want. Otherwise, I just send both. It's no biggie, but it's nice to know. And then if you put your email address in there, it's really helpful for me to help find you. Some people, which you'll see in a second, don't, but it's fine. I, I, I can still find you. Um, anyway, the picture that came along to kind of show you uh, via the postcard-looking thing. Yeah. Check this out. Little shrunken head guys. Okay, so, somebody said, hey Scott, did you get a little head today? Sure did. <laughs> this is my favorite of the three. It was my wife's favorite of the three too. Um, it looks most like me, I guess. But check this bitch out. I'm gonna put the light over here on him. See if you can see him. Yeah, this is, this is some cool shit, man. <laughs> I know it's not white light and it's goofy, but hey, it gets the point across, but it's even more eerie like this. But these are just too flippin' cool. So again, <clears throat> let me put my light back here. It's kind of like telling ghost stories. <sighs> okay, now let's do this. Natural light, you can see him this way. How badass is that? Okay. Just how cool. And we'll get to my next one. I got three of them. Three heads one day. This little brunette beauty. <laughs> and regular light. There you go. I mean, these are cool. And finally, my blonde. Well, that's, that's actually turning the color of my hair. Hair pulled back, kind of Gene Simmons-esque, with the hair up here pulled up high on top. And get the hair out of the eyeballs. 
So you can see they got the hair ponytailed back. And all the cool crap hanging out of the nose and the lips and the eyeballs. Natural light here. Yeah, shrunken heads, dude. So yeah, I'm trading my lessons for some head. I know, how many times are you going to use that thing, Scott? I know, head, we get it. Uh-huh, move on. But how cool. So, that is so great. So, And I'm going to get all you guys' um, links sent out tonight from last night and from today. So sorry to have wasted so long. Kiss songs. John... Ecuador, thank you, my friend. Just flipping, so cool. Um, I'm gonna see if I can dangle one of these from like my microphone stand when I go play. You know, just somebody around, and it, it can just be the running joke of the gig. You know, just always like to get a little head wherever I go. <laughs> okay, this one I opened up. The ones I got today, I haven't even opened up yet, so I'll open them right here. Um, this guy, ah. Uh, See if I even did I get a letter in with all this? I don't think I did. I'm just, but I do have written down what he was going to send, I believe. So hopefully I have a way of getting hold of him. And here we have from T. Blair from New Mexico. So that'll help me. Um, also works in leathers and so forth. But I have a cool band. That I can. I have a cool band everywhere. And to remind you, once again, mostwantedband.org is the new band I just joined. So the band's name is Most Wanted. Used to have a male stripper review back in Indianapolis called Most Wanted. So right here we have the leather band with Groovy on there. How cool, huh? He said he does all the leather stuff, and there you go. So there's the band with the Groovy Meister on it. How sweet, man. And I've got my, and God, we can even do the uh, cool clasps on them. I like these clasps, um, especially on guitar straps. And just, you know, for your key rings, again, just more crafts that the guy makes and does a superb job, man. Excellent work. And I just can't thank you enough, my friend. And just like this, my guitar strap, bang, clip, you're done. Um, you don't need strap locks anymore when you get things like that that'll hook right to your guitar. These work better than the other ones that just pull out of your guitar. And no, he wasn't done yet. Now, he hooked my wife up, too. Mm-hmm. I bet he did. Okay. She was wanting to eat these last night already, dude. <laughs> okay, my wife's half Mexican. Her mother was Mexican. Her father was from Spain. Okay. So, we got... Check this crap out, man. Just... So, my, my, my little beaner wife, man, she's going to be so all over that. I'll be on it, too. Her and this. <laughs> because she's fine. Eight years older than me too, but she's fine. That's right. I got I got cougarized, and her favorite thing. No matter if we have breakfast or whatever, and I get scrambled eggs and bacon and hash browns and whatever, she has the same thing. But hers always, always, always breakfast. It don't matter if it's Cheerios. She puts everything on. That's right. Flour tortillas. So, a whole fresh batch of the flour tortillas, too. So, that is great. And to refrigerate. So, I better hurry and get these in the refrigerator. <laughs> but, yeah, we're from right in New Mexico, dudes. So, Albuquerque. So, and, I mean, he, these aren't just him going down to the store and, you know, going to buying crap. This is stuff um, right there. You know, New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico. So, this is... Um, directly from the man so that is some cool stuff thank you so 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 very much and of course I'll get your downloads out right away but how flipping cool the things people come up with um, I'm just gonna keep rocking because we got a lot to do these I studied last night actually uh, from Sam over here in Akron Ohio um, da -da -da -da. check these 
Now these are kind of wild. Um, I don't know if it's going to show better in this light or... Eh, it might show better in this light. You'll notice you see Japanese... Uh, the Japanese government. But it actually says five pesos. Okay. These were actually... Yeah, you're mixing Spanish with the uh, Japanese. So these were actually like wartime... World War II time things, and they were, oh, I can't remember what they called them, but they were propaganda, is what they call them. Um, where th these were actually made to be dropped uh, from airplanes and all this kind of stuff. So they were kind of making fun of other people's monies. Uh, you can read the whole story about it. If you just put in um, Japanese five pesos, uh, the, the, very first art, the very first article you come up on it, will show up and it tells all about it, but it's really cool. Here's the un peso, or one. <laughs> but these are cool. I, these I have not seen yet at all. And I read the whole story on them last night, and it was, it was really interesting. So, again, it's American propaganda printed Japanese and from all other countries as well. Um, different forms of currency and would drop them and then often uh, do a stamp on the back which these don't have on them as of yet from back then. They went and stamped a bunch of ones that they actually dropped from the planes that um, basically bitching about the war. Okay, so they weren't extremely fond of Japan during World War II. So that's a short story how these got made, why they were made. and But the whole story is online again. Just look up. Japanese, look up five pesos or whatever, and like I said, there's a huge, I mean, a monster story on every one of these and what each one of them means. Thanks, man. Um, that's cool, and it's something I'd never heard of either, and it was made for some good reading last night, and so now I, I actually printed all the stuff out which I'm putting with this so that I know what it is. So again, Sam from Akron, Ohio, thank you very much. Your downloads are coming tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have here, and these are cool, because for some reason Australia has been calling me since the day I was born, and I don't know why, still. I don't know what I want to do there, I don't know what draws me to Australia, but I have always, that's always been the one place that I just wanted to go since the beginning of time, and I don't, and I'm going to go. <laughs> but, Lighting, who knows? Um, current, most of them. And da -da -da, if this does anything for us, but it's like anything, man. Trade me, trade me, trade me. And again, if it's a letter, I am just as pleased, and I got letters. And I'm as pleased with one as I am the next. But now I actually get to see Australian currency. I know I could Google it any time and look at it, but it's not like having it and getting to look at it under the magnifying glass and so forth. So sent to me from Kyle uh, over in over in Australia. So yeah, again. From Australia. So very cool, my friends. Thank you. I can't, you can't even see me saying thank you. So thank you, my friend. I will get your stuff out to you. Um, as soon as I get done doing all these, um, it'll be time for the wife to get home. We'll eat some dinner, and then I'll start sending out all the stuff. That's one, two, three, four. And here's the fifth one from yesterday. Then I'll start opening up today's stuff. Uh, coming to you. A letter, handwritten letter, all I asked for. This is Mike from, um, oh, from Virginia. I will simply read this. Um, okay, Scott, as I sit here and I write this letter, I'm watching the show and tell part two. This is part five if I never said it. Okay, or six. Shit, I can't remember. Maybe six. <laughs> I 
I will have told you by the beginning. Okay, so, um, and he, you know, checking out, he's watching part two and uh, stuff people sending me. He said, I searched around trying to find something I think might be worthy of your uh, generosity. I've got a lot of junk, but nothing cool enough to send. But I just wanted to write and tell you how much I enjoyed your uh, YouTube videos and how much I truly appreciate the free lessons on your site. There is a lot of great stuff on those, but the uh, biggest I think is the um, Oh, the notion of taking what a person knows and what you teach and uh, playing around, experimenting, etc. Uh, there are a lot of instructional videos on the net, but very few present things this way. And I, and I think that has, um, I'd like to really be a, oh, it's a, I, oh, I, that's the key to being a really good teacher. Thank you. Um, anybody can say, do this like I do, but a good teacher will push the student to uh, take his lessons and what he learns and expand on it. I just wanted to tell you how much I appreciate what you do and the motivation behind it. It's great to know you are around. Sincerely and much appreciated, Mike and his screen name. Uh, P.S. I hope you can read my handwriting. I'm getting through it. I write way worse than you do, my man. Uh, it used to be beautiful. <laughs> I hear you. Um, or so I was told. Arthritis and diabetes and stuff made it ugly. Uh, would love the lessons, but that wasn't the point of this letter. And I do have your email right here. So yeah, of course you're getting the lessons, dude. And thank you so, so much for the letter. Um, that's what gets me through every day is just kindness of y'all. You know, sure, people are saying, oh, a bunch of Scott Grove fanboys over there. It's like, whatever, man. I got friends. I don't have fanboys. You know, I got people who appreciate what I do, and that's what it is. The rest of it's just hate, and I, I'm, I'm doing my best to just let those haters go. So thank you, thank you, thank you for the letter, and you're going to have a blast with these lessons. And I hope the arthritis gets good. My wife's got it. My dad's got it severely. Um, I'm not looking forward to getting it. That's for damn sure. Um, I'm one of these people. You know, everything. Just pop, pop, pop. So, bound to happen. I know that doesn't. According to Dr. Phil, that doesn't, or not Dr. Phil, Dr. Oz, that doesn't cause arthritis, but we shall see. So thanks again for the letter, man. Yeah, and your um, downloads are on the way. Uh, and I know that wasn't the intent of the whole thing, but yeah, of course you're getting them. Okay, today's offerings. I'm going right through them. Some of these may not be offerings. This might be some just shit I ordered in the mail. <laughs> so we're just going to check Scott's mailbox. Oh, Randy. Randy Gamble from Mount Vernon, Ohio. This is the person who won the uh, contest, the 4-4 amp contest, and my hard drive with all my lessons on there. So, oh, dude, cool. Hey, Scott, it's Randy, the big winner of the 4-4 contest. I told you. <laughs> I'm watching you show your foreign currency right now, and I remembered I have some just sitting around. This is Russian money from the Cold War. Uh, my fiance did a project on Russia for college and used these as part of the presentation. I know you would appreciate these, so I'm happy they are yours now. After watching your latest dumb motherfucker video, <laughs> I decided to keep my silver tone. Uh, headstock is good, maple neck, fingerboard, and I'm thinking it would be cool to make a project out of it. Um, I'll give it a roll or a nut. I actually enjoy the silver tone stuff they've been putting out lately, to tell you the truth. <laughs> um, put a better bridge and um, turn the neck humbucker into a single coil, flip it around and maybe get some quack out of it with my little unscrew the screws mod. Um, should be a good learning experience if nothing else. Deox it, fixed it right up. Yes, deox it, 
D5 for all of your dirty pots. Okay? Um, and more. It just takes care of everything. Uh, it'll unloosen your rusted tuning keys on that old guitar you've had in the closet for 30 years with 80%, 90% humidity in there. Okay, back to his letter. I mostly want to say thanks again. Your videos really helped me at my worst. Fuck cancer. Exactly. No shit. Uh, while I was having a terrible time of fighting for my life, you were like a friend that I could visit anytime. On nights I couldn't sleep, I'd watch and learn. It was like... Uh, oh, I think it was the learning that helped me... Uh, I'm engaged and distracted from my misery. Now that I am in recovery, kick ass, I still associate um, you with feeling better. Awesome. Plus, winning the contest was like the cherry on top. Hey, good cherries. Always cool, especially if she's on top. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you ever wonder if you made a difference in this dreary world, you did to me. You're awesome, Scott, and I'm very proud to call you my friend, Randy. Now, that's what it's all about, people. Just That kicks ass. It's handwritten again, which to me means a shitload. Uh, it just shows, again, effort. But, yeah, that, that's, that's just love from a guy to another guy, which is totally awesome. You know, love you dearly, not queerly thing, you know. It's like even if it is queerly from some guy to another guy, whatever, you know, Love is love, and love is appreciated. And Randy, I appreciate it, my friend. And I'm glad you're on the road to recovery, hopefully in remission, I'm sure. And like you said, I'm always here for you. <laughs> I love it. God, hey, what a... <laughs> he sent some artwork, too. Um, this here says, Dumb motherfucker, skater, gamer, entitled asshole, believes anything a salesman tells him. Hopelessly addicted to YouTube pseudo porn. 41 years old, works at Pizza Hut, and lives with his parents. And up here it says Chappers for President. <laughs> okay, so this is this is his dumb motherfucker. <laughs> and that's all the stuff it said down at the bottom. If you need to read it, there it is. Freeze frame, because it's not staying up long. That is great. Skater. <laughs> There's a skateboard, his gaming controller, his <laughs> his Gibbons guitar. <laughs> Mawful amps. Not Marshall. Mawful. They are awful Marshalls. <laughs> That's fucking beautiful. I gotta frame these. And the next one is our cork sniffer. The people who are, you know, only a 1952, Les Paul will do, and uh, everything else, fuck it. Um, what's he got down here? Oh, this is a finger instead of fender. <laughs> Classic 1897 piece of shit reissue. <laughs> POS reissue. Authentic bent nails, real lousy, termite infested, genu genuine splinters. <laughs> These are fucking awesome, Randy. <laughs> Again, um, anybody that wants to freeze frame or do your picture capture or whatever. The cork sniffer. Send this over to mylesspaul.com. And... <laughs> Fucking awesome, dude. That's great. And Randy's not done yet. God, do I send him the downloads? He's got the whole... I will, just in case he wants to send them to a friend. How's that? Send them to about eight years. <laughs> I'll send you the downloads in both Mac and PC form and share them with whoever you want to and say, hey, you download them all. I got mine on a hard drive. <laughs> I don't have to bother with that download and stuff. Okay, from the Russian stuff that the wife used for her. Um. <clears throat> wow, lighting. Can we say lighting? Okay. Mm. <laughs> See, I'm not in the dungeon. I don't have lighting. Okay. Check it. These are, And you guys are seeing these for the first time with me, too. All these I'm opening straight from the mailbox. I just got in from the mailbox. 
So Russian currency. Let's see if they even bother to be nice enough to put real numbers on there so we can tell what year they are. <laughs> Everything needs to be in American English, not the Queen's English. So that's the way it should be. We're number one. I don't know why we are, but we are. <laughs> Even though China owns us. These are cool, dude. Thank the little lady for me. I have to look at them, too, because they're... You know, that's the weird shit about foreigners. I'm trying to read this, and it's like they have a different word for everything. You ever notice that? It's like a different fucking word for everything. It's like, it can't be a cat for them. It's got to be... <laughs> however they pronounce it. And, you know, other ones that go have the clicks in there, like Starvin' Marvin from South Park. These are cool. Randy and Mrs. Randy, thank you guys. One more note coming up. Oh, the old hammer and sickle. That's cool. Hey, it says 1951. Right there. By God, right there, told you. Uh, they had to do it. Right. There you go. And that thing's pristine. Like I said, I don't know what they are, but I think they're beautiful. They're just too cool. So, there you go, another beautiful thing. So I am going to send the downloads, and you just forward them to anybody whose day you want to make other than mine. Okay, because you just make my day again. So, Mr. Randy Gamble, the winner of the Four Force Contest. James Sanders, you already sent something, dude. <laughs> what a what a guy. Um, Downing, Eminence, Kentucky. Eminence speakers. Right there. No, he just is addressing me as your eminency. <laughs> oh, I think way too highly of myself. What did you send today? Oh, man. How cool. Oh, and there's even more in here. Let's find out together. I'm going to read, wow, it doesn't stop. <laughs> and there's, oh dude, and more. Oh, that is too cool. Okay, I'm here to share. I'm, I'm still gonna blast through them though. So don't think nonetheless of me, my friend, for blasting through them. Dr. Groovy! Says, hey Scott, how's it going? I just wanted to write you and let you know how thankful I am to have a friend like you. I don't really have friends. Last time I ever got to go hang out or do anything with a friend was when I was 14 years old. They don't want anything to do with me because of my uh, hemophilia. Yeah, man, this guy is, James, you are, you are like the coolest dude in the world. This is, this is one of my favorite people of all time. Um, just happened to... Uh, you'll see him on my channel, on Gerald's channel. He's just the coolest cat in the world. And um, he needs just the greatest lady. He's 25 now, uh, sporting a cool new beard. And yes, I read your long letter. Don't think I don't do that. Um, if you guys ever hook up with James on YouTube, James Sanders, just the coolest dude. He, play, he sports the Gene Simmons axe bass at church when he's playing. You know, how cool. I mean, just... Uh, just I can't tell you how great this guy is. So if it's the last thing I do, hell, I'll even go buy you a uh, hot, hot, hot um, Filipino girl and have her transported over here for you. <laughs> I would do that for you, man. Hey, they have to wait a certain amount of time before they're allowed to divorce you too. So let's get. <laughs> I know many people here who have done that, and then they learn the American way, and then they divorce her ass after a while. But in the meantime, you got the hot punani and the <laughs> and a little thankfulness for getting them out of the country. But okay, I'll get back on this. <laughs> James, you are awesome, dude. Okay, so yeah, hemophiliac and stuff, and that yeah, sucks. Uh, it's a bleeding thing. I mean, you could you could touch the guy, and he's just gonna bruise all over the place. It's just a free bleeder thing. And while I'm on here, not to take anything away from James at all or anything, but I developed, I don't even know what it is. Maybe, James, you can help me with it. But uh, I used to be able to get hickeys a long time ago, but now I can't. <laughs> I 
I mean, who wants to be a 50-year-old guy with hickeys anyway? But maybe James, maybe you know this, maybe somebody else knows this. But if I were to suck on my own skin or anybody else try to give me a hickey or suck on my skin anywhere, um, they get a mouthful of blood but no trace of anything on my body. So I can't get a hickey, but my blood will actually come through my pores and into a person's mouth, but leave no sign that anybody has been there. So I can, right there, I, I can't reach my pecker, so I'm not going to do it on there. You know, of course, if we could, we would. But, uh, yeah, I can suck the blood right out of my arm and not leave a mark. So if anybody knows what the fuck that is, other than fucked up, uh, James probably knows, so let me know, dude. Um... Back to your thing. As, uh, as James says, it sucks not being normal. You're normal, dude. You just got a fucked up disease. And same as me, I'm, I'm abnormal and I'm fucked up. So you're the better person. <laughs> and, dude, you're just the greatest dude. You're going to have an amazing fucking life. I know you are. It says, I can't work and I can't really get what I want out of life. I finally got me a new amp and a guitar. Took me two years of savings. Saving up and selling a whole lot of stuff just to get them. I still wish I could get my dream guitars, the Ibanez Iceman and the Fender Telecaster, but it's hard for me. I want to thank you for your lessons. Uh, they have helped me in so many levels. I still shock myself on some of the licks I can pull out. Uh, insert joke here, he says. <laughs> I can listen to a song and know the chords just by figuring it out. Isn't that great? It's just, I love it. Next page. And it's all because of your lessons. And that's, that's just what, that is so fucking cool. Um, let me see, make sure I'm reading these in the right thing. There's two pages. I'm sure I'm on the right page. Okay. Um, now after you read this, don't send me the lessons. You've already sent me them. That's true, but. If you ever want them again, just all you guys out there, if the two weeks isn't enough time, I don't have control over how the two weeks. That's just what it is through the drop send company that I pay $1,200 a year to let me send you free lessons. Yeah, 99 bucks a month to have my stuff sitting there ready to push a button so you can get them. But I have to do them myself. They won't even just send them when people pay for them. I have to still do all the legwork myself. But yeah, I'll still send them anyway, dude. Send them to a friend, okay? Um... You've already sent me them, and I'm still downloading them. So if they run out, ask me, and I'll send them again. Again, I may not get to your email right away, but I'll get to it. Um, sorry for my lack of YouTube videos, but because of my hemophilia, I usually have to take a shot after them. If not, I will get to where I won't be able to use my arm for a few days. That blows, dude. No joke, but I will need one after writing this letter, so I will be able to use my hand. Uh, whenever I do something for a while, it, it will, I will start hurting, and that is, you know, and he hates it. Of course you do. Uh, music is the only thing in my life. But if I play guitar too long, I was going to ask about that. Uh, my arm will swell up, and it kind of locks up to where, uh, you, know, you know, when he moves it, so usually takes three days for me to fully use you know his arms again after just playing guitar you know that's kind of what happened to uh, Mark St. John of Kiss that's why he lasted just the one album and gone everything started swelling up on him and puffing up and they couldn't figure it out and you know all of a sudden enter somebody new but dude I, I pray that there's somebody up there that I can pray to to help you out because man you are just the coolest guy that I know um says I got a Line 6 Spider, uh 75 watt and a Gibson uh, oh the LPJ 2013 model USA both of those took me the 2 years of savings and selling and all that stuff to get them so he sold all his other guitars to get all these last page and some cool stuff on the back um it will take take me about the same to get the Ibanez Iceman and Telecaster Sorry for the long letter. Don't you dare be. I hope you like what I got you. The bracelets I made myself. Okay, and that's why I read the letters first. These are friendship bracelets, kids, and I will wear these. I totally believe in anything anybody has the heart to send me. I am there. 
and I love pink and black and purple and black are actually my favorite colors so I am there it's kind of a bluish purple and it just matches with everything I dig so amazing thank you dude um, the patch is supposed to be from the 80s check it out yeah the good old iron on patches those were great thanks dude you rock I, I know I know your kiss collection is so valuable to you and as is mine so I will take definite care of this as you know I will thank you um, I didn't know what size your wrist is so I made these eight inches well, eight inches is about everything on me <laughs> all right uh, <laughs> I put one in there for your wife also Mo that's what I thought thank you I didn't want to leave her out and I love the people who don't leave her out that's great I, I gotta get in touch with my buddy because she picked a guy's gonna be sending me some scented stuff here and she picked out her scents so don't think I forgot about you. She picked them out and I just haven't got to the letter yet. Um, if you're already here and you're hearing about them, it's the pumpkin stuff, the pumpkin spice, and the um, uh, uh, banana nut bread for the guy who's going to be doing the scents. Okay, the cubes and the candle things and so forth. Uh, so those are the two that she likes. So either one would be awesome if you're listening in. Uh, like I said, I know your email's there. and. I, just so much to do, um, but I'll be there. I promise I will. And just see, because I know I read it. Okay. So then I found a little medal with Kentucky on it. Um, it's the city of Louisville. I'm from Henry County, which is also close to Carrollton, Kentucky. Um, which is right here. And then on the back, okay, thank you, dude. And am I missing it? Oh, no. Then I found this fake bill, so I put a picture of you on it. Where is it? Where's the fake bill with the picture of me? It might still be in the thing. Dude, I don't have it. Dude, James. <laughs> Just to let you know, I don't have the fake bill with the picture of me on it. I would love to see it, though. Holy crap. Okay, so, just keep reading. But to let you know, it's not in here, but the next thing is... There's the one other item in here. Okay. Um, I found a guitar... Uh, okay. I found a guitar pick that has a grip I thought you might like on it. And then I found this fake bill with a picture. Okay. Sorry, I don't have more to get. Plus, uh, thanks for everything. P.S. If you ever decide to sell any guitars from, you know, my Paul Stanley Ace Riley or the Gene stuff or a telly, let him know. Like four years in advance because he would still want one that... Want one. And plus, uh, I would do anything to have a guitar from your collection. Dude, you know what's gonna happen anyway, so. <laughs> I, said, I would sell my car to have one if I have to. I don't uh, care what guitars, but I'm also a kiss freak. Thanks again. Uh, James Sanders, man, what a great guy. And he also sent me this. It's a Lincoln Penny here, and it's got, oh, let's see if we can get this. Yeah, there you go. You've got Kennedy's head also pressed into it. Very cool stuff. And the whole thing about it. So, Mr. James Sanders, my wonderful friend. Thank you, buddy. You rock. And look for, my, for, look for that bill that you put my face on. Love you, bro. Thank you. Groovy Productions, LLC. So, this must be for me. Okay, let's check it out. And it's coming from Alabama. Let's get inside and see what we got. Um, okay, I can cut through here. It's another reason the light's here because I don't want to cut through something that I don't want to cut through. Uh, be careful with power lines. Hey, that's a beautiful tan look I have, huh? Okay, I have a note, I have an object that I get to slice through. 
no, I'm not going to make any references to 9-11 with this. Wait, I just did. Uh, how do I get this apart? Like this, I guess. Ooh. Oh, dude, cool. I remember him talking about this one, and I've got it on my list that it's coming. And silver is up. Okay, Scott, little bitty letter, see? Um, this is the Morgan Silver Dollar for our trade. Hope all is well with you and your family. Thanks again, uh, Jerry. Uh, and he has a last name, and he's from Alabama. Um, again, some people I will divulge, some I won't, some. But anyway, yeah, I got my, we got my Morgan Dollar there, kids. So precious metals are up. Uh, back when I used to have my silver dollar collection, and it looks like I'm back on one now. You can't just start with one and stop with one. Okay, from back in 21. And your downloads are coming, buddy. Thank you so very much, Jer. You rock, my friend. I got a silver dollar. <clears throat> Groovy Productions, LLC from, well, Wesley, oh, over in Ohio, Mount Vernon. I know tons of Mount Vernons in all different states. Indiana, Kentucky, and Ohio. Again, you guys are seeing these all today, and there's three priority mailboxes after this. So this will be the longest of all. Ooh, dude. And yeah, people are actually sitting here watching this. Thank you. <laughs> um, some people actually say they went through that 23-hour thing I did of Ask Scott Grove Anything and watched them all instead of regular TV programming. That is fabulous, man. I think that's, that's great. And they're asking, I almost did another one again recently, and then all the Chappers fanboys <laughs> came over and fucked it for everybody. So somebody asked me yesterday, can you... Can we go back and do it again and you just block all the little fucks now that most of that shit's out of the way? It's like, sure, we'll go ahead and give it a shot again. So we'll do the do that whole thing again and I'll take as many hours as it takes to answer all your questions again. Dude, um, first things first, handwritten letter, right there. Two pages. And... Again, from Wes. Hi, Scott. There are some coins and 25,000 dinars for you taped inside. I've been playing uh, the same nine chords for 20 years. Uh, believe me, I need the lessons. Great. That's, that's what this is about, man. It's like, let's, let's get you somewhere. Uh, let's make you learn more in six weeks than you've learned in 20 years easy. If all you've done is nine cores in 20 years, hey, I'll do that in the first five minutes of the lessons. Um, I do great work on guitars, but really need to learn more uh, above the third fret. Exactly. I really appreciate the video on how to fix nuts. Makes a lot of sense. I like to restore drum kits and guitars, mostly uh, for a hobby. Started playing drums at five years. Guitarded at 35 years, <laughs> still learning at 60. Uh, awesome, dude. Uh, love music all my life from Glenn Miller. I love Glenn Miller. Uh, to Nirvana, to Foo Fighters. Uh, never cared for country much until I was um, partying and goofed off with the Garth Brooks tune. The crowd loved it, and I got into the... Uh, Hank Sr. and Hag stuff. Merle is still my favorite. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Next page. Um, want to thank you for the free lessons. Helped me to finish three of the songs I wrote about ten years ago and now sound good. Oh, the guitar kits I made into real instruments are nice for the price. Thanks to a lot of working 
uh, with wood and electrics, electronics. Um, it, I was able to make playable guitars out of the junk in the box they sent. The finishes are polyurethane, thank you, and made to look like old 40s and 50s stuff. Well, gotta run, uh, work some, take care Scott, and keep on grooving on. Thanks Wes, and an email address to send them to. P.S. Cousin Sheila had a stroke at 35. I'm talking about my stroke, so a little personal relation. Uh, they have no idea why. Take care of your health, buddy. Uh, the walk keeps me. The walks keep me going. Yeah, and I'm I'm doing my walks with the wife, so hopefully that keeps me going. Doc said the cardio is the most important thing I got to do. Yeah, I sit on my butt most of the time on that couch behind me, and take care of business, but. Yeah, she, she still gets me up to do the walks and um, makes me do them. <laughs> and for anybody who hasn't seen, uh, I don't know if you can tell right over here, but there's the top part of it anyway, of my, oh, there it is, treadmill. So yeah, I have to keep my old walking up and it's the only exercise I get. The wife like I know. He won't even touch me anymore since we're married. No, teasing. Wes, thank you. And I'm going to show you the lovely gifts Wes sent me. 25. Dude! <laughs> These are great. Um, how do I get in here? That's what she said. Or, uh, that's what I said to her. How do I get in there? There's got to be a way you got them in here, dude. Oh, right in the top where they go. How do you get through the tape? You do this. Mm. Yes this again. Okay, these are great. Here's the 25,000 dinars. Right there. See, I just made 25 grand in one day. And don't think I haven't made more than this, because Wes sent me more than this. So everybody wanted to see what 25,000 dinars from Iraq. That's right, Iraq. Check it. Check it out. My hump. My humps. My lovely lady humps. Check it out. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> okay, now I got one million dollars. U.S. dollars. Make you holla. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> That's a beautiful addition. From your friendly folks at State Farm. <laughs> so one million two hundred or one million twenty-five thousand dollars and change. And do I mean and change? I do mean and change. Bam. More foreign currency. Check it out. Wes, you rock, my friend. See, we just keep getting better with age. So, Wes, thank you. Your stuff's on the way. I'll answer that. Probably my wife will be right back. All right, I'm back with my weird colored Oompa Loompa colored self. <laughs> if you watch the original one, you know what I'm talking about. The, uh... Dude, we'll just go. Wesley, right here. Okay, I'm going to keep everything where it belongs. Cause, um, anyway, the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the Oompa Loompas were like this color. Um... No, not the one with Johnny Depp. Okay, so time for some Norco. Yeah, they quit doing lore tabs. Too much Tylenol in lore tabs, so now Norco is the new thing. Ah, just for that pain in my head. Okay, the next ones. I get three boxes. Priority mailboxes. And again, cutting through them here. I hope I'm. Yeah, I know I should be cutting towards myself, but I am guitarded. I cut through the label on the top, and I hope it's not a letter. <laughs> it could be. Ah, I got through there. Okay, let's see if I cut through his letter. That's what was just a label. 
Looks like it was just a label. Okay, so this is freshly opened, coming from Joe over in Huntley, Illinois, I'm going to say. Yeah, that's Illinois. So from Joe. Man, Bubble Wrap City. We love this stuff for wrapping up my flash drives when I send them out. Oh, dude, this is too precious so far. Huh? Good God. Wow. Is all I can say so far. You got my reaction right there. But right away, before I do anything, this, this will be the only thing that's ever hung on my refrigerator before. Somebody <laughs> drew me a picture. Got groovy and it's got kiss and guitars and hearts and man, I can't wait to read this. And you won't believe what's in the box either. It's I good lordy. I'm floored. I've got um two pages front and back, so they're being read, so you can decide if you want to sit here or not. But I am. It says, Scott, I must have started this letter a dozen times. I had forgotten just how hard it is to write an actual letter. Computers have made it so easy these days. With spell check and autocorrect, it's amazing how some folks still manage to screw up their grammar. <laughs> I have put together a small package for you. First is a Levy's number one stretch strap. I find them comfortable and fun to use. I figure if nothing else you could use it for your next exercise video. I, I love these stretch straps. I don't have one at the moment and I love them. Push down on your electric guitar and it works those triceps. Yeah, you can actually have these straps and you push them and you can push them all the way down to your knees. If you let go, it'll hit you in the chin. But, oh, I, I've been, oh, this would be so much fun. These are, I had one of these like 20 some years ago by somebody and yeah, they actually boing, boing, boing. And it's great to use on stage. And people freak out when you can actually just push your guitar down to below your crotch. But yeah, we're talking brand new kids. Okay, so the Levy stretch strap. Mm. Awesome, dude. I, I'm, I'll be rocking this with the new band for sure. Um, I'm just... That way, I gotta have a light up strap. The uh, other comfy ones. The, these will make a Les Paul feel like four pounds. Honest to God, if you guys haven't tried them, um, I've played. Despite what you think, I've played and owned. I've owned a couple hundred Les Pauls, um, and these make them feel like a four pound guitar, dude. Thank you. Let's keep rocking. Um, Next is a 20-foot guitar cable. Look at this. Look at this, folks. Oh, man. I got, a, I got a straight plug on. These are gold. Got a straight plug on one end. And from my weird Vs that put the output jack in the wrong place. This is high-quality crap here. The ends are for sure. This, let me see what that does. I'm going to... Uh, I got a business card right here too. LLC, and you know what the you know what the LLC is all about, then, my friend. <laughs> okay, South Creek Audio LLC. Right there. Okay. Want to get a good plug in on here, and let's learn about South Creek Audio. Let's learn about this. Let's learn about the cable together. The next is a 20-foot guitar cable from South Creek Audio. I have no affiliation with them. That's fine. I just gave them a plug, which is fine. I just really like their products. These are great cables, which are not only cheap. That's a cheap cable. No way but also excellent build quality. This 20 foot was only $11? No shit. Uh, you guys better try that out. I haven't tried it yet, but 
Holy shit, it feels like a freaking tank. Um, so that card I just showed you, call them and check them out. I mean, this thing honestly feels like a, it's the best feeling cable I have. I, I, dude, let's just continue. Thank you. You can't find a better cable for this price. No, no shit. Plus the folks at South Creek are among the finest people I've ever dealt with. I give them my full support, and I hope you will like their products as well. So, yeah, there's the plug for them, but holy shit, man, that's at, for 11 But God, it's 20 feet, people, 20 feet, and major plugs on these things. We'll see how it holds up, but hey, there's a... I'm going to take that right to the first gig. That's going to go my acoustics, because I don't run my acoustic instruments uh, wireless. I hardwire them, so that will go right on my Flying V Acoustic. Next, next, look at this, folks. Next is the Honey Tone Mini Amp from Dan Electro. Look, can you believe this crap? I mean, dude, you went way, way out of your way. There's a 9-volt battery right here on top when you open the box. And you get down in here. Yeah, it's even got a place where you can stick it on your strap. There's the amp. I even got an amplifier from this guy. An amp and a cable and the strap. Da -da -da. And the battery that goes right there. And you can clip it on to anywhere. You can click it on your visor and play your Steinberger in your, guitar, in your car <laughs> as you're driving and texting. <laughs> Dude, man, you went overboard, but I can't thank you enough. Holy shit. He's, I'm not done um, with any of the reading or with any of the stuff in here. You guys can't believe this shit. It's, I don't know what to say, dude. Um, and again, for people who have written me saying, uh, sorry to interrupt this one, but for people who are saying that, man, I can't compete with what these people send you. Right here, um, we got Mike here from Virginia. That's all I ask. You know, I put this out here for the people who want lessons, can't get them for whatever reason, don't matter what reason. I'm here to help you. Just a simple letter, and I am beyond happy to help you out. Okay? If for some reason you can't write a letter, I know there's people out there who are missing limbs and whatever, and you can't write a letter, if you have to email me one, I will still send them, okay? But I love these. Maybe have somebody else dictate it, but just something about handwritten letters that just get to me. So don't anybody dare feel intimidated because somebody sends me a package like these, okay? It's not about that. This is just, this is just fucking great is all this stuff is you know, appreciated beyond belief as well, but no more than these, okay? So don't you dare think you're not worthy of it because somebody sent me, especially something like this that's just crazy and I'm just floored and then this is, this is cool, so I'll just continue and just leave it at that, okay? So this is for everybody. This is me reaching out to everybody who has no means of getting lessons or just want my lessons, or whatever. Um, don't anybody... F so shut your ass up and just simply let's make a deal, okay? For a letter, for a foreign nickel. I don't care. Okay, I honestly don't. I would rather you have the lessons and whatever else comes my way is not important. Okay? It's the fact that you get to learn. That's the bottom line of this. Okay, back to this letter. Um... The Honeytone Mini Amp from Dan Electro. Great little portable amp that has some fantastic sounds. It even has a belt clip uh, so you can walk around and play at the same time. So it's going to be better than the little pig nose because it's smaller and you don't have to have a separate guitar strap for it. Now, Ames, the pick punch. What? Oh, dude, I've heard about these. I'll read the rest. 
I'll show you the Ames Pick Punch. I know what these are about. And I am going to have a blast with this. <clears throat> Sometimes a good old uh, X-Acto knife there. Carpet cutter, whatever you guys want to call them. Box cutters. Hijacker. Crap, I said I wasn't going to mention that. Um, check it out. Check it out. I'm going back to singing my song again. And there was a pick in here. I saw it. But I'm probably sitting on it. Or it rolled. Anyway, you put material in here. Oh, it's the on the top of here. It's just their logo. Right here, you put material in there of your choosing. You find a material that works for you or people like me who are constantly licking their fingers because their picks won't stick to them. And then you get other companies that they're, say their picks won't fall out of your hands, but they do. You put that material right in there and you just like a stapler punch out your own picks make your own picks out of any material that works for you holy shit dude thank you and right down there see there's the shape of the guitar pick there you can almost see it right there so and it will pop out pen picks as quick as you can go like this along your material dude awesome flipping awesome and let's see what he had to say about them um, you can make your own picks from old credit cards or gift cards. Uh, that used Dairy Queen card would make some great picks. <laughs> he saw me get the Dairy Queen card. Awesome. And I still have two more blizzards coming on that Dairy Queen card from my buddy. Um, you'll never run out of picks. With the pick punch, you can even order sheets of... Is it Delrin? Ultim or polycarbonate if you want to get a get fancy, but I find that any old card makes a great pick. Speaking of which, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to go away, but that reminded me because my brain um, coming back here from my buddy James Sanders, who I've got to get them all off here. I'll get them all off in a second. On the back of his letter. He hooked me up with a bunch of picks too, so I didn't want to forget that, James. He's like, where's my picks? I, I, I left out his bill with his picture on it and the picks are gone. No, the picks are here, dude. <laughs> so thank you, James. <laughs> he just reminded me. Um, so that is awesome. Last, we have a picture that my six-year-old Emma made for you. That just melted my heart as soon as I looked at it. Um, Emma, 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 thank you. You are groovy. Long live Kiss. <laughs> um, she sometimes watches with me, uh, but quickly moves uh, to other things as she has a tort short attention span. She said the picture is you, the groovy guitar man, as she calls you. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> That's this, folks. That, that, that is precious. My wife is going to get home and cry. Um, she'll be here in... 25 minutes. Well now, the boring part about where I get to tell you a bit about me. <laughs> uh, I was born and raised in Chicago. Uh, <laughs> right, uh, a couple hours from Indianapolis where I'm from, Chicago. Uh, that's what, how I used to say one of the brothers, you know, they hadn't, hadn't named the town yet, you know, in Chicago. So they're looking for a name and something just kind of stuck when there was a, a brother outside. <laughs> His piece of crap wouldn't go. He's out there kicking it and pumping it and going and saying, Chicago! <laughs> I know, it's it's not as funny as it is in my head, but Chicago! And the name was born. It's like, we need a name for this town. It's two people walking by. Chicago! Okay, we call it Chicago. <laughs> I'm 43 years old, so you got six years younger than me. And now I live in Huntley, Illinois with my wife, Tiffany, and my three children, Aiden, Andrew, and Emma. I've lived in Huntley for about 11 years now, exactly how long I've lived here in Mesquite. So we've been idle for the same time. It's known as the friendly village with country charm. It's also known for its turkey testicle festival. Holy turkey balls. <laughs> yes, tur turkey testicles, that's this. Google it for more info. I will. I'm going to Google your balls, man. Watch out. <laughs> Don't let Emma hear that language. Uh, that's the first thing I was thinking when you said that she 
actually watches me. It's like, oh God, I'm not kid friendly as far as my language. So tell Emma, I'm sorry sometimes. <laughs> um, good guy. It's, it's quite the testicle spectacle. <laughs> It's a, it's a great time and lots of fun, plus 1,200 pounds of hot nuts. Simply a great Thanksgiving tradition we have to, to come and to love. As far as guitars, I am 100% self-taught. Not for long. But my skills have been much to leave much to be desired. I have been playing for about 15 years now and rely a lot on YouTube and books for learning good, but I don't practice nearly as much as I should. Well, you're going to want to soon because you're going to get some good stuff to, that you're going to be excited about. This will definitely change with your lesson videos. Um, I promise to make good use of them. I have no doubt, my friend. I hope you enjoy your package. I do on a regular basis. Oh, the one you sent. You got it. <laughs> and please keep the videos coming. Ignore the haters. I try to, man. They they do get to me. They shouldn't. I'm I'm old enough and whatever that I they shouldn't get to me. But I'm one of them people that they do. So keep reminding me, please, as all, all of you do. Please remind me to keep them out of my head because I let them get to. I honestly have dreams about them fuckers when I go to sleep. It's hard to sleep sometimes just knowing how many people fucking hate me. But Emma, sorry for the language again. <laughs> uh, oh, and give a shout. To your good old buddy, Gerald Ray. Good God, this guy. Yeah, of course. Gerald is amazing. He's one of my few, I can easily call, best friends. Uh, he's a great guy, he says. Uh, say hello to your lovely wife, Rosie, for me. He remembers Rosie. Good Lord. Feel free to share any part of this letter. <laughs> now that I'm halfway, 99% done with it. I only ask that you keep my last name and address private. Thanks. My town is okay to mention. Your friend forever. Joe. Dude. Oh, and then his address to send it to email. And at, <laughs> he says, yes, I'm still rocking with AOL too. <laughs> Joe, I can't say anything else that I haven't already said. Dude, you rock, and you're getting ready to do, do more. And that was a fabulous, unexpected gift, dude. All of them. And tell all the kids, hey, the wife, hey, the whole family. Dude, that was above and beyond, big time. And this is going on the fridge. Um, shit. That's all I can say. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. Um... I'll write you back here tonight and hook you up and talk to you again. Thank you so, so, so much. Amazing what you, some of you people do. Uh, here we got one from California. I'm going to look for the first name. It's just abbreviated in, on the label. And it's a large priority mail box. Also. And then we have one more after this. So that you know where we're at. That's another large part of my box. And more cool bubble wrap. You guys don't know how much I love bubble. You can just send me bubble wrap. I don't care. I love bubble wrap. I need it. <laughs> okay. Now this this is where I just got had. This is not from somebody. <laughs> so I'm not editing this out just like always. This is something I just ordered and it showed up. So, <laughs> it was bound to happen. Okay, Johnson J Station. Okay, this is my fourth or fifth one of these things now. So, yeah, I ordered another one and I got, these are amazing folks, and I got this one for $23. <laughs> All the sounds you can imagine. I'll have to do a review on these things. They are fabulous. And, fabulous. And I, um... This is what I practice on late at night, so I have the headphones on, but and to do direct recording and all that stuff, and all the great Johnson sounds are all here. Um, I could use one of these live and have, and just run me a J8 pedal through there, and you can select if you want the J8 or the J3 pedal. But it's just something that came in. So I, why do I have so many? Because I can transfer sounds from one to the other, and 
be done with it, and if one goes bad, I just take another one with, with, with me, with me, and I don't have to. Um, Groovy, Dr. Groovy. So this must be for me. Um, so I don't ever have to reprogram them again. I just run one into the other and do a dump on it. <laughs> Insert your joke here. So I take a dump on my pedal. You would think with my wife working at the post office all these times, I'd figure out how to open these boxes. Okay, so here's our last one for the day. And this is coming from Don in Maryland. Yeah, one of the big cities in Maryland. Dude. How cool. <laughs> Out of envelopes. <laughs> what a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> so he put his letter in this piece of paper that says he was out of envelopes. <laughs> what a dumb motherfucker, he says. To Dr. Groovy. By the way, don't need downloads. Already got them. See, now these are people. He don't want them. He's got the downloads already. Yet yeah, he still sends me something. Man. There's two people today. Hey, I've already got it, but I'm sending you something. Well, I'm sorry, but... The haters can hate all they want, but the people that like me or love me in a purely platonic way, you guys are flipping awesome. Okay, that's that's it. God. You guys never cease to amaze me is all I can say. So, I'm done. Thank you. I haven't even got to this yet, but... Um, dear Scott, funny I'm writing this letter now as I almost did this back in October of 2013. I had stumbled upon your channel and I believe the first video was, oh, you're tuning your guitar wrong. <laughs> Either that one or the dumb motherfucker classic. Uh, this transcended me into a whole new world as far as guitar and playing. Dude, that's great. I had a million questions and had missed the Ask Scott Grove Anything series. I tried emailing you, but with the thousands of them you receive, it was more than likely buried in your spam. It's just buried, period. I'm, dude, I'm so sorry, but you understand it, and thank you. Or you don't. Oh, it might have ignored them. Um, no matter. Thank you. It doesn't matter. Um, I didn't think there was a shot in hell that you would have read a letter. <laughs> I try to, dude. I try to get to them all. Stupid me. Dumb mf -er. <laughs> Please excuse this rambling, poorly penned second draft letter as there is so much I want to say. But first, let me thank you for all you do on YouTube. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that more than anything. The amazing flash drive I stole you for a hundred dollars. <laughs> so he has all my lessons on a flash drive already. Yeah, it is a steal. It really is, folks. Um, uh, replying for the uh, ridiculous amount of my comments occasionally on your videos giving away your lessons to the less fortunate and even the douchebags if they are smart enough doubtful <laughs> to participate five entertaining me time after time with your countless videos they are better than most anything on TV I love that a lot of you guys say that that is that is so cool I tell my wife honestly that 
you guys watch my stuff instead of TV. And she's like, why would people do that? It's like, I don't know, but I'm sure glad they do. It's just, it's fascinating to me. I love it. And people are like, well, some folks just don't have a fucking life. It's like, no, man, it goes deeper than that. There's people that I watch all their stuff too. And I, I, get, I get it, you know, so, but for me to be the recipient of the attention is amazing. Thank you. I love that. I love that you love it. Uh, number six. Um, somewhat extracted me from the world of the guitar. <laughs> Scott, find enclosed a gift for Mrs. Grove. Now, again, too cool. Class move, dude. My wife makes these things for me or for things for more for enjoyment of doing something I try to tell her to sell them but snuck them out of a box of too many <laughs> she'll never miss them <laughs> a picture of me when I played over 40 baseball not softball now uh, the real deal did it for about seven years. I'm 56 now. Had to stop because it's impossible to deal with. 40 years old to 70 plus that act like <laughs> little pussies. <laughs> I was better at baseball than guitar, but I'm getting better with your help. And Marty. Yeah, Marty is awesome. Marty Schwartz, everybody. Um, him and I don't know why I can never remember the guy's name from Australia. Everybody goes to him, too. Uh, yeah, you're telling me now, and I can't hear it. Uh, is it Justin? Probably Justin. Um, Marty and Justin, amazing. Uh, keeping nice, clean, easy lessons out there for everybody. And I can't thank those guys enough, either. I send everybody to them to learn quick, friendly uh, lessons, especially for kids, you know, because I'm me. <laughs> but yeah, Marty and those folks are great. Anyway, here is a tad bit of what we've, of what you've taught me. Proper ways to put on strings, elixirs, fabulous. Uh, how to tune properly, still working on that. <laughs> how to... Uh... I'm sorry, dude, I can't read it. My bad. How to... Maybe if I do this. Nope. Something on a guitar. i still working on that one. God, I wish I, could, I wish I knew what it was. You'll tell me. Um, oh, the walking bass line, blues, etc. Um, oh, Christ, I could go on for another page already. Thanks for being you. Good luck with the new band. Which again is um, uh, most wanted. That's mostwantedband.org. Um, a friend for life, Don, last name. Uh, P.S. Finally figured out YouTube. No video, but put a sh but put a song on tonight. Oh, cool! I'll be there. Uh, so there's Don from Maryland. And his lovely wife made this for my wife, but doesn't know it. <laughs> um, denim, again, because of, I don't know if this will ever clear up, but it's denim, folks. Um, and it has been bedazzled, or what do you call these? The studs, and so forth. And I'm sure it will snap right there. Yep. That is too cool. Oh, we got cool Paisley innards. So hippy trippy like I am. Man, that is nice. That's nice if you guys could see inside here too. For any ladies who may be watching. But it's quality work. And thanks for thinking of my wife. That that means all the things. And, and asking nothing in return again. Um, this is this is Don. Right here in his heyday, circa 2009 or so. 
uh, Frederick Stadium minor league team, the Baltimore O's, a um, bunch of old farts, 40 years or older. First time I ever autographed anything. <laughs> and he's got his signature right on the front, so I have an autographed picture right there of Don. So to every one of you guys, thank you so flippin' much. Holy for Jesus. And thanks for somebody for sending my Johnson J Station. <laughs> You guys rock, and uh, yeah, so what, it's a long video. Um, people who get it, get it. And Don, holy crap, and all you folks, um, everybody, I've got everything kept here so I know what's what and what's everything, and I'll sit right here tonight and send everybody who wants videos, their videos, and those who don't want videos and just sent stuff, holy shit. Um, I'm, I'm beyond words, so just know that. Um, I don't know what to say except for thank you. That's all I can say. And does everybody play well? Um, I already thought about it today, and I'm going to, when I go over to the band, I think with the band on Thursday, I think we're going to do the one, one and only rehearsal we'll have before we play. It's just to get intros and outros you know, correct and uh, transitions from one song to the other, correct? Um, the songs I've already learned, so I'm good there. Uh, so I got that out of the way. Um, just getting used to things in different keys and so forth. I'm not going to use my little things to play them, to transpose them. I'm going to play them in the real keys that they want to play them in. So I just run them through my software, put the song in the key they play it in, learn it that way all over again. But, yeah, you have to see how the new bands do it where they don't stop at, what songs go into the another one without stopping, that kind of thing, or they have different intros, outros to than the songs originally have, especially the songs that fade out. So you have to learn the actual endings they come up with, so forth. But I'm gonna take my camera, this camera that we're using, um, to my rehearsal, so you can meet everybody, and I'm gonna take it to every gig and post those, just for anybody who cares to join along. Good gig, bad gig, doesn't matter what we have. Um, I'll just toss that up there and anybody wants to watch it, you watch it. If not, whatever, but it's going to be here for anybody that wants to just simply go along on the ride with me on that. Okay, so just to let you know that and enough people are asking asking for the Scott Grove, ask Scott Grove anything video to try it again and not let the people screw you out of having a good time with that and maybe we'll get another 23 hours of video out of that too and you know let's just keep on keeping on keep on digging each other and the haters just have to be haters I guess you know as people keep telling me and I'll try to like I said it's hard to be hated but it's not hard for me to hate is it <laughs> I know it's a hypocritical thing but um, thanks for the love, the genuine love from so many people, and I give it right back to you, honestly. And for again, for the simplest heartfelt letter to brand spanking new gear, to things people make or things people have had, for taking care of my wife, for tortillas and hot stuff and money and shrunken heads and everything here no one thing is more precious than the other it's just the fact that you are here you want to play you are part of this groovy thing that has happened somehow and i love you guys for it and thank you so much and mr james sanders um with the hemophilia um any i've told this guy many times it's like if i had a son i'd want him to be just like like you James um, the guy is just great and needs more out of life than what he's been given he's been given a bad shake and um, God I was always you know blessed by parents who neither one of, none of them are well off at all but they took me to every gig when I was 13 14 15 till I got my driver's license and would stay there until whatever time in the three o'clock in the morning till we got it packed up and take take me back home and take me to the gig the next night and they would still get up and go to work at five you know or whatever and 
they would buy me whatever. I started off on Les Pauls. Les Pauls was my very first guitar. Um, I had me a 58 Les Paul. Then I had a 61 Epiphone Coronet were my first two electric guitars. And then my very f then I, my amp was a big Sun Centura tube head and a v Ampeg V4 head. Then I had two Sun cabinets, really tall cabinets with one 15 inch JBL, you know, D series speaker in each one. And, you know, this is starting out. So I was lucky that way that they just supported me in every way. But James, man, if, if there's anything I could do for you, buddy, just, I'm not, not well off. So, um, God, to have friends like these, you know, you're, you're rich to have friends. And, you know, you've got a friend here, buddy, and with me and Gerald. And if there's anything you honestly need, you know, just hit me up. Just saying. You know, you don't have to work for everything, Kyle. It all, it's all karma. You know, I know it's a hippie word, but, man, if you want something, just let me know, okay? I'll take care of you, buddy. And for everybody else, again, much love. Be groovy. Keep on sending everything to Groovy Lessons at AOL.com. And I'm like two days behind having read anything at all and corresponded with anybody, but... Tonight's the night to do that since I'm caught up, like I said, with the bad stuff. So tonight's all about you guys. So all the way until 4.30 in the morning, I'll be working on all of this. So love everybody who puts the love back this way. Okay, you guys be groovy. And um, I'll see you next time this camera's turned on. <laughs> okay, thank you all for all your contributions and all your heartfelt words and presence and uh, what have you just being part of the little groovy army that is because it is because you're there to make it happen okay why, why I'm deserving of this I have no flipping idea but thank whoever if there is and if there is somebody up there please let me know you're there so I can get a clue <laughs> okay um, I'm going to shut this off before I cry <laughs> take care guys bye bye thank you